Drivers from the ride-sharing company and from its rival Lyft organized protests in cities around the world today. Aditi Roy is in San Francisco for us tonight. Nearly 300 Uber drivers speaking out at the company's global headquarters in San Francisco, blocking a major street and demanding higher wages and benefits. We just want to tell Uber that they need to stop exploiting drivers before they, you know, go on Wall Street and start selling shares. The demonstrations began in London and spread across cities in the U.S., including New York, D.C., Chicago, and San Francisco. But in some places, like London and Queens, New York, turnout was lower than expected. In Brooklyn, demonstrators began the day with a caravan of slow-moving Uber cars driving across the Brooklyn Bridge. And while rideshare protesters say they would shut down the Uber and Lyft apps, an Uber spokesperson said the company saw a decrease of about 500 drivers in New York City, which is less than 1% of the drivers in the city, making it tough to tell whether the dip was a result of the protest or just an anomaly. Still, protesters say they will keep pushing for change. As with most movements, it starts small and builds from there. The drivers have four demands, higher wages, transparency in decision making, employee benefits and a voice in company decisions. In a statement, an Uber spokesperson says drivers are at the heart of our service and we can't succeed without them. We'll continue working to improve drivers experience for and with them every day. As part of the company's IPO, about a quarter or roughly 1 million Uber drivers globally will be eligible for a one-time reward, ranging from $100 to $40,000, depending on the number of trips the driver has completed. U.S.-based drivers will have the option to buy up to $10,000 worth of stock with that money. They should protect their passengers too. They are charging them the amount that they want and they pay us like peanuts. Most Uber and Lyft drivers are part-time workers who are working for the ride-sharing companies for supplemental income. Studies show that Uber drivers make between $18 to $21 an hour on average, and a Lyft spokesperson tells us that its drivers make about $20 an hour. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Aditi Roy, San Francisco.